For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, now we're going to do these two problems. Find the angle data between the two cables, this angle right here, and determine the projected component of the force F along the cable that goes from A to C. Then express that uh, as a Cartesian vector. So to find the angle theta, that's what we're going to do first. You find all the points and balls, which are A, which sits at 6i plus 8j plus 0k. B sits at 0i plus 10j plus 4k. C sits at 8i plus 0j plus 10k. To a b, a uh, vector that goes from a to b, that is the vector that this force acts along, can be found by doing b minus a, and comes out to be negative six i plus two j plus four k. The magnitude of this vector a b can be found by doing the x square plus y square plus c square all square rooted. So when you plug in these three values into this formula, you're going to get that is equal to 7.48. You're going to need that. Now AC is found by doing C minus A, and it comes out to be 2I minus 8J plus 10K. And the magnitude of AC, which is found in this same manner, comes out to be 12.96. There's a point there. So now you know what, that by definition, the dot product of AB is the same as the magnitude of AB times the magnitude of AC times the cosine of the angle between them. So negative 6i plus 2j plus 4k dot 2i minus 8j plus 10k is equal to um let me erase that the magnitude of a b which is 7.48 times the magnitude of a c which is 12.96 times the cosine of theta so negative 6 times 2 is negative 12 2 times negative 8 is negative 16 and 4 times 10 is positive 40 uh, times uh, 7.48 times 12.96 comes out to be 96.94 cosine of theta so cosine inverse of uh, minus 16 minus 12 is minus 28 yeah minus 28 over 96.94 am I right 2 6 8 plus 1 18 28 plus 40 Oh, sorry, minus 28 plus 40 comes out to be positive 12 is equal to theta, and theta comes out to be 82.9 degrees. That's this angle right here between them. The second part, which we're going to do now, uh, they want you to find the projected component of F along AC. Very easy. First, you need to find the univector AC and it can be found by dividing the vector AC by its magnitude. Vector AC is right here, and the magnitude is right here. We already found them, so it comes out to be 0.154i minus 0.617j plus 0.772k. However, we need to find also the vector AB, the univector AB, in order to find the Cartesian vector form of FAB. The univector AB can be found by dividing the vector AB by its magnitude, and it comes out to be negative 0.802i plus 0.267j plus 0.535k. Now, by multiplying the magnitude of AB, which we know to be 12 pounds, we can get the Cartesian vector form times 
uab we get the cartesian vector form of ab so basically you're going to multiply 12 pounds by each of these values and you're going to get the vector that you need which is negative 9.624i plus 3.204j plus 6.42k now in order to find the projection of this vector onto AC what you got to do is the top product times the unit vector along AC uh, so this is going to be negative 9.624i plus 3.204j plus 6.42k dot right out of space 0.154i minus 0.617j plus 0.772k so negative um, basically we're doing the dot product between this vector and unit vector AC negative 9.624 times 0 0.154 is 1.48 negative because negative times the positive is negative minus 1.98 which is 3.204 times 0 0.617 plus 4.96 which is 6.42 times 0 0.772 and it's a positive so this comes out to be 1.5 so this 1.5 is the projection of AB onto AC. So it has a magnitude of 1.5. However, they want you to find this in Cartesian vector form, which is very easy to find. Let me scroll down a little bit so I have it more space. All you got to do is multiply this by the unit vector AC, which we have already. So 1.5 times UAC will give you the projection in Cartesian vector form, which is 1.5 times 0.154, so to be 0.231i. 1.5 times negative 0.617 is minus 0.926j. And 1.5 times 0 0.772 will give you positive 1.16k. Final answer for the second part. This is the Cartesian vector form. Cartesian vector form of the projection of FAV along AC. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.